lunch breakers and takers do us a favor take a minute to hit that like and subscribe button also hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos in the future okay so uh well it's, it feels like it's been forever since uh we did a video on on orlando brown uh saying he's <laughs> left tackle but really that was just last week yeah and um now today reports are that the ravens are giving orlando brown permission to seek a trade mm -hmm. so and all and also it's been reported that multiple teams obviously are interested in them so we want right. to break yeah oh, go ahead oh no i was just gonna say yeah i mean there's obviously a difference between interest and i would like to trade for him uh, i'm sure a ton mm -hmm. of teams called just sure. to see what the what the asking price is yeah. uh but yeah like you're saying we, we just want to go over you know where we think the the best landing spots would be for him yeah yeah Okay, so well, uh, or for the for Baltimore, <laughs> yeah, 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 for Baltimore, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, okay, so yeah, we I mean we we have a couple of teams that that we identified uh, as potential trade targets. So uh, you want to go ahead and? Uh... Uh, yeah, I mean we're looking at you know Miami. They drafted a, a left tackle, uh, I believe it was just this past year. Um, but I'm sure that you know they they would be fine with moving him over to the right, right. and or you know in that scenario maybe Orlando would even want to play right tackle still since you know Tua is left-handed assuming they stick with Tua yeah um for Baltimore they are picking third not getting that pick uh but they are also picking 18th wait you said Baltimore yeah I mean I mean in terms of a, the trade for Baltimore uh, Miami's right. picking third but you're not going to get that pick from them right, uh, right, right. they're also <laughs> picking 18th and I mean I guess you know if you want to if, you, if you're looking to move them for draft picks 18 is not terrible um you know, they don't really have much in terms of uh, wide receiver talent. You know, maybe Devontae Parker. Parker, yeah. But, you know, not not anything terribly exciting there. Uh, so for Miami, you'd really just be looking for multiple picks. And then I get that uh, one of the top wide receiver guys is there. Or, you know, for Baltimore, they're probably looking at edge rusher because that's what Baltimore does. Yeah. Uh, outside of Miami... I think probably the best landing spot for for the Ravens and for Orlando would be the Chargers. Um, they're picking 13th, but in that scenario, that pick, I think you're trading him for Mike Williams, and and you can add in you know some later picks uh, as needed. But that that would solve a big issue for the Chargers and give them that you know really good young left tackle to protect Justin Herbert throughout his career, right. and it would give Baltimore the outside target uh and, and a huge upgrade in talent at wide receiver that they desperately need yes yeah i agree and like you said if you can try to finesse a, another draft pick out of, out of them you know maybe a second or a third you know see how see how desperate they are for a left tackle i know there are a couple of the teams out there that would probably be a little bit more aggressive and, and add you know a, a pick to it and yeah. um, one of those teams i think maybe dallas yeah i mean dallas i Ron Smith, obviously, uh, you know, he's been one of the best left tackles in the league for, for quite a while. But, you know, recently he's been hurt a lot. He's been missing a lot of time. He makes a, a ton of money. So I think that Dallas might be interested in moving on from him and replacing him with Orlando Brown. Again, they're picking 10th, so I don't think you're going to actually get the first round pick out of them. But they've no. got Amari Cooper, Michael Gallup, and CeeDee Lamb. I, you know, you're not going to get CeeDee Lamb, I don't think. Um, no, no. I think they'll they'll be very happy to give you Amari Cooper, I believe. But I think that uh, Baltimore should look to get Michael Gallup. Uh, you know, he's he's young, he's cheap for for the moment. And again, like Mike Williams, he solves that problem on the outside. Um, I think that's a that's probably kind of a tough one. I don't I don't really think that one's going to happen. But you know, just another another call for for DeCosta to make. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like like we said, Michael Gallup is somebody that we both really like. Yeah, he's still on his rookie deal. Um, that that would be a, a great uh, pickup. You know, again, see if we can get like a second round pick out of them or something like that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, another option. Did we did we put them on the list? I, I was thinking about Denver. No, Denver actually just re-signed their uh, their left tackle uh, Garrett Bowles, uh, the left Garrett tackle Bowles. for for Denver. They they just re-signed him or, or signed him to a long term extension. He's 24. He has he's got experience on the left and the right. You know, he's made Pro Bowl as as both tackles. Uh, so you know, in a vacuum, he's got a ton of value, right? But right. 
part of the problem is the cap's not going up as much as it normally does. And when you trade for Orlando Brown, you have to do an extension immediately. Like there's, he has one year left on his contract, but you're not going to wait that year and, and, you know, be taking advantage of the way Houston was by Larry Tunsil. You have to get the deal done right away. Right so away, whoever, yeah. whoever is trading for him. Yeah. You know, in your head, you say, man, two first round picks. I mean, he's a left tackle, you know, a 24 year old left tackle. Absolutely. You know, give us multiple picks, but, Teams don't like giving up multiple high draft picks when they have to do a big money extension at the same time. Right. And you're going to have to pay Orlando Brown in the neighborhood of 20 million a year, if not over that. Yeah. Yeah. And if you just, if I know a lot of Ravens fans want the picks, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, I want proven talent. (laughs) And, and for whatever reason, you know, these, you know, teams, they value draft picks over proven talent. So it'd be much easier for us to get, one of these good young wide receivers that we know can play then to get these draft picks. Mm-hmm. So go for what you know. Go for you know, one of these wide receivers that can help us out immediately. I don't want any more draft picks, man. First of all, we don't even do a good job drafting wide receivers. So even if we had yeah. a high pick to get a wide receiver, and we wouldn't even get him. We wouldn't even get a wide receiver if we had a high draft pick. We'd definitely go no. edge rusher. But they, even they if would. we yeah, but they even would. if we got Jamar Chase or whatever, like I fear he wouldn't develop over here because we don't <laughs> develop wide receivers. Hey, listen, they got new coaches in there now. They got T Martin, they got Keith mm-hmm. Williams. They they're at least making a good faith effort to, to fix the problem with the uh, developing wide receivers. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, having hired T Martin and Keith Williams. So I'm not going to hold that, that they're passed against them right now uh, in that mm-hmm. regard. Uh, but, you know, moving on to some other, another couple possibilities. You've actually got Minnesota, you know, when we checked before I said they didn't have a first round pick, but they do, they're picking 14 uh, and oh. they have Adam Thielen and they have Justin Jefferson. Uh, the problem there is going to be money. Again, right? Like they they don't have any. So, yeah. uh, you know, I mean, in in the NFL, teams can work around the cap if they really really want to. But yeah. are they going to be willing to give up high draft picks or really talented wide receiver and work out a way to pay Orlando Brown? I don't know. Yeah, and in that scenario, I mean, I I wouldn't mind getting Adam Thielen, you know, mm-hmm. in a, in a, a pick or two. But I would absolutely be pushing for Justin Jefferson, <laughs> right. and, and I know they wouldn't want to give him up. He's on his rookie deal, and he's he's absolutely amazing. Yeah. Um, okay, so Minnesota is one is a, another possibility. You know, I look at Philly, and they're a mess just everywhere. Right. <laughs> uh, they've got Lane Johnson at left tackle, but he's played a good portion of his career on the right side. Uh, I'm sure he. Well, I shouldn't say I'm sure, but. I feel like you know they, they can probably move him back to the right and, and install Orlando Brown there to kind of take over for Jason Peters. Yeah. But again, they're in a position where no real compelling talent would be coming back, so you'd be looking at draft picks. They're picking sixth in this draft, and at that point in that position, they'll probably just take a left tackle. You know, there, there's no yeah. point in uh, in bringing in a guy who is, you're going to have to give big money to immediately. When you're in a position to get one of the elite tackles in the or the elite prospects in the in the draft, yeah, and you don't even know if you're going to be competing right now, right? Because you're trying to move right. out Carson Wentz, you don't know what your quarterback situation is going to be like. I mean, yeah, you had you had Jalen Hurts, you got a glimpse glimpse of him, you got to see if he can um, develop even more, but you know you're not really sure how the team's going to perform as a whole. So you, yeah, you definitely don't want to dedicate uh, a big chunk of your of your salary cap um, mm-hmm. to a player, you know, on a, on a team that. You know, their future is in question right now. Yeah. The 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 wrinkle there is like you said, they are moving out Carlton Wentz. At least that's the you know, that's the story going around. So Chicago and the Colts are rumored to be the two spots uh that they're kinda they're going back and forth on a on a Carson Wentz deal. Mm-hmm. Uh they're picking twentieth and twenty first. Presumably a first round pick would be part of that deal. So if they do move Carson, you know, they may have a pick later in the first round that they could send back to Baltimore. Right. And then it just comes back down to, you know, do they want to commit that kind of money to Orlando Brown? But that's definitely a possibility. But again, in that scenario, you're not really improving your, uh, your chances much if you're Baltimore of getting whatever position it is you're, you're looking for in the draft. Baltimore's picking 27th right now. So yeah, that will put them at 20. That'll, that'll move them up a bit. Um, but you're still not going to be in the in the range where you're getting an elite prospect at any position, really. 
Yeah. Uh, unless you're looking to package those picks and then move up and get somebody else. Yeah. But, you know, look, there are trade options out there, mm-hmm. right? Um, it looks like a trade is, is inevitable at this point. You yeah. know, when, when a team gives a, a player permission, that means it's, it's going to happen sooner, sooner rather than later. Yeah. And I feel like um, the way uh, things are moving right now, um, I think it's going to happen very soon, unfortunately. I was hoping we could keep them for that last year, you know, because we're trying to make a run. But now, you know, it, you know that, that's another hole we have to fill on the offense. All right. Because, I mean, he's, he's one of the best tackles um, in the league. And, you know, so now we, we're down to Ronnie Stanley and, and, you know, this is a lot of question marks in the interior O-line. And then we got that hole at, at right tackle. So now, you know, Baltimore has some work to do. So, I mean, yeah. yes, we even if we get a lot of assets for him, I mean, it has to, you know, we have to put, you know, some of that back into in, into the O-line. Yeah, it has to go right back into the O-line. Uh, yeah. I know a lot of people are mocking uh, edge rushers to Baltimore. But like you said, if you trade out Orlando Brown, now you're looking at you need to add two tackles because they need a backup tackle. They don't have one. Yep. Um, and, you know, obviously you don't have to take that in the first round, but you want a, a quality backup. But you yep. do need a starting right tackle. You need a backup tackle. And you need a starting center at the very least. Yes. So that's right. three that's three players you gotta get on the O line. Mm-hmm. Uh edge rusher is just a luxury at this point, man. Like yeah. it is what it is. It is what it is. If we have to roll out there with Dylan Ferguson and maybe bring back Tyus Bowser, then that's just what it is. That's, you know, that's my Howard. feeling. It's, yeah. yeah. You you bring back Tyus Bowser, you bring back Jihad Ward, you have Dylan Ferguson already, and then you go out there on day three and you draft the best prospect that, that's left. Uh and maybe even, you know, bring in a, a vet minimum kind of a, a free agent. Yep. But the 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 valuable resources, the high end resources, need to be put back into the offense. At this point, I don't want to. I don't even want to hear about wide receiver in the draft. Like you better just go and sign a wide receiver because no, I don't want you trying to pick somebody at twenty seven. You know, I don't want you trying to trying to puzzle your way through in in the second round and and, and grab somebody who no. you know is gonna is gonna disappoint based on your right. history. Right. Go in free agency, sign an Allen Robinson, sign a Kenny Galladay, somebody like that. And then use those first and second day picks on that O line. Yes, absolutely. I agree. I agree. So, you know, we'll uh, we'll follow this story, um, and I'm, I'm sure things will unfold quickly, as as a lot of things are uh, around the NFL. We also, uh, not to interrupt, but we didn't mention Seattle. <laughs> oh, oh yes, Seattle. Yeah, desperately yeah. needs to. Uh, protect Russell Wilson and has for years, but he came out today and, and said he's getting really frustrated with how much he's getting hit. As he should. Uh, yes, he, he he should be very frustrated. He gets hit a lot. You know, some of that is on him. He does like to hold the ball and run around and everything, but they, they've had a terrible O-line in there for years. Now, that's a team that I would try to finesse and say, look, give us Tyler Lockett and your first-round pick mm-hmm. because what are you going to do with your first-round pick anyway? You don't get, you don't get anybody that's going to help him out you know, you, you get. Well, I'm looking, and I don't think they have a first this year. Did they trade it? Uh, you know, I'm not sure, but they normally do. Yeah, I just I don't see. They just don't use it on anybody. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't see them having a first round pick right now. I'm trying to think who who are they who. Are they, oh, they traded uh for Jamal Adams. Right, they right, trade for right, Jamal right, Adams. Right, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why the Jets are picking twenty third. So go ahead and send us Jamal Adams and Tyler Lockett, and we'll take the second <laughs> round pick. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 but yeah. Little... Uh, Russell Wilson, he, he was very frustrated about getting hit so much, and he said he, he wants to have a bigger voice in what Seattle does in free agency in the draft and things like that. Yep. Uh, so they're another team. Like you said, they got Tyler Lockett, they got DK Metcalf. Call them up and try to make something happen there. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, plenty of options. We got to see uh, what they settle on. We, we're probably we're going to have to settle on something. So, yeah. Um, for for the record, my pick is sending him to the Chargers for Mike Williams. And, you know, and if you can get another pick out of them, then that's great. But send him to L.A. to to be the blind side protector for Josh, uh, Justin Herbert and get Lamar a big-time wide receiver. Yeah. Um, I got no arguments there. <laughs> 